Right, part two, our little guy needs wings. So we are just going to start, do the wings the same way the bee started in the first place. So we're gonna do a ring. And by doing the ring, I'm gonna do a slip knot. If you know how to do the magic ring, feel free to do it. I just don't like to do it with this chenille, especially because of the way it sheds. So, oh, and you know what? I'm gonna uh, tell you to do it this way. Leave a little bit of a longer tail to do your slip knot. That gives you a little bit more to work with. So, back up. Do a slip knot. Do a chain four. One, two, three, four. And then you're just going to go back into that first chain. That top loop. You're going to pull it through and pull it through. So you're just doing a slip knot to join or slip stitch to join. And then you have this little ring right there. It's like a little donut. And you're going to do six single crochets in that ring. So there's one, two, there's three, four, five, and six. All right, and then the next round is an increase. So if you remember, you count backwards. There's six, five, four, three, two, one. That's your stitches. And it's just gonna be those loops right in front of that bump. And you're just gonna do two single crochets in that one stitch. And then you're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch. That's your second stitch. You're going to do two in the third stitch. Let's get that. There we go. One. Two. Two in the fourth. One. Two. Two in the fifth. One. Two, two in the sixth, one, two. And here, I like to stick in a st stitch marker. We only have one more round to go, but otherwise I'd end up going round and round and round and never know when to end. So we're gonna do the next round. The last round is a single crochet in the first stitch and then your increase, which is the two single crochets in the same stitch. So there's one and there's two. And then you're going to do one in the next stitch, two in the next, one, two. My yarn is fighting me. There we go. You're going to do one, two, in the next, one in the next, oops, two in the next, one, two, one in the next, two in the next, and we are almost done. One in the next, we're ready to put it in our last stitch, so we need to take our stitch marker out. There's one, there's two. We're gonna finish it off with a slip stitch. So we're just gonna go into the next stitch, pull through, and instead of doing a single crochet, just go ahead and pull it right on through. And then you're gonna want about nine or 10 inches to work with, to sew. So we're just gonna go about so long and and keep my little bag of stuff in over here because the chenille yarn does that all over the place. It's messy. And we're just going to kind of tighten that up. And you're going to make another one of these. So if you want to just rewind and make another, I'll meet you when you have two. Okay, voila, we have two. 
So now we just need to put him on our B. So he'll be happy. All right. Take your yarn needle. And you're going to pull that through. And for this one, we're going to just kind of go right down there from the eye. And we're going to work in between the two black rows. So this one, we're going to start at the back, right about here. We're just going to get underneath a stitch. To go through the body and turn our wing around we're gonna go back through the wing just the wing like that so we go through the wing body first then we go through the wing and then we're just gonna come down here and go to the next stitch down oops let me get that back on the camera go to the next stitch down Go through the body and then we're just going to go back through our wing. Let's try to get that one, all, this next stitch a little better on camera. Okay, so we're just going to, we're just working our way down. We're going to go into the next little stitch. We don't want we don't want it to be too to show too much. We don't want that. Let's try there we go. Right there. So we're coming back through the body. And then we're gonna go just through the wing. We're gonna do that one more time. Through the body and then just through the wing so when we're done we just have it looks a little bit like this and now we're gonna secure it a little bit more by coming back retracing our steps and just going to go back and just kind of try to go through those same stitches and back through the wing Gonna give it a little more support in this. This is why I don't use this this chenille yarn for the body of the bee because it just doesn't like. I don't, I don't feel like it's as strong, especially if this is gonna be given to a kid. All right. Now we're going to leave off there and I'm going to come back and get this, pick this one up, this tail, and we're going to bring it down through. So we're just going to go slide it in there until it comes out about where the other one is hanging out. I'm just going to give it a little tug so it's nice and snug. Don't pull too tight, it'll break. And then we're going to tie it again snug but not too tight and give that one more little knot all right and then we can i don't need near that much so i'm just gonna throw that in there and then this the tails can just go back into the body and out the other side. Just kind of pull gently. When you squeeze it, it just pops back in. If you have too much, you can snip it. We got one more tail. And again, just coming through the body. Too tight. 
there you go. So this one's a little long. I'm not going to try to get that stuffed in there. I'm just going to snip it, throw it in my stuffing, and it's going to live to be a stuffing for somebody else for another one, another day. All right. And there's one wing. There's how it looks in proportion to the eye. And so we want the other one to just be right about here. So we're going to get our yarn needle out again. This time we're going to start in the front and work our way back. And so it's just going to go like so. So we just want to match it up where we left off before. That seems to be about right. Make sure it's right. Make sure it looks good. We'll go through the wing. So again, we're going through the body, through the wing. And make sure it all lines up. That's looking pretty good. And so we're just going to make sure that we keep coming this way. So we're going to come through the body. Back through the wing. And just go right here. Through our body. Back through the wing. And we want one more stitch. Through the body. This is your last chance to make sure it's right. Otherwise, it's, it's, or this, especially this chenille yarn, is a bear to undo. To take it back out again. It can be done. It's just not much fun. Believe me, I've done it. All right. And so now we're going to go back a little bit through our stitches. Just a little backtrack. Get us a little more support. One more through the wing. Get a lot of this little fuzz. We're going to let that go. We're going to grab the other one that's coming out the back of the middle of our wing and we're going to go right down the center. We're going to tie those two tails together. Kind of snug. Another knot. Definitely have too much here. We get rid of some of that poofy stuff. We're almost there. There are a lot of variations to this bee. I've seen a ton of them out on YouTube. I wanted to keep this one just as, as uh, beginner friendly as possible. There's a lot of different things that you can do. You can add little blush around the eyes, uh, embroidery. You can do different eyes. You can do a little mouth if you wanted to. So uh, I've seen a lot of different kinds. This one, pretty basic, pretty easy to work up. And actually does really well um, selling at the store just like this. I don't even add bother adding any more to it. So maybe someday I'll do a different one. But for, for now, I kind of like this guy. So now, my friend, this little guy has a friend. 
Thanks for watching.